you are um, an artist in residence at Movement Research. Uh, what, what does it mean for an artist to, to join this kind of program and, and how is it structured? Um, it's structured... Let's see, where to start. Um, first of all, I guess Movement Research functions in a way that's kind of hands-off in relation to artists. Like, they're not... In the residency, they're not requiring that we make any particular kind of work or um, they're not guiding the content or the structure of what we're doing. They're mostly providing opportunities for um, making work, for having discussions, for participating in panels and uh, different kinds of group activities that come up. Um, the residency runs for two years, so I am an artist in residence for 2010 and 2011, mm -hmm. so my second year just started this past month in June. Um, you get a commission fee or a stipend, uh, which you can use however you like. I happen to have a show in development at the time that the residency began, so I used mine towards the show that I was making, which was perfect. And then you get 50 hours of free rehearsal space, which in New York City is really important because you rent, unless you have your own dance space, which most people don't, you rent space, which can be, it ranges from anywhere, a low end is $10 an hour, and the upper end is say 25. So you get 50 hours free and any additional hours you have at a reduced rate. And also Movement Research is in uh, collaboration with a studio called Eden's Expressway in Soho, which has been around for many years, um, owned and run by a choreographer named Francis Olenikoff. And this year was, this past year was her 90th birthday. And so that studio is a real institution in, in particularly in what we call downtown dance in New York City. In fact, the building that it's in and the block that it's on is a neighborhood of dance studios, say in the 70s and 80s, there were uh, studios that people, choreographers and artists had when that neighborhood was really an artist neighborhood primarily. Now it's more commercial and like a big shopping neighborhood. And a lot of those artists have sold those studios over the years. Uh, but Eden's Expressway is one of the few studios that's left and it's a beautiful, large studio with a great floor, which is a rarity nowadays in New York. So uh, movement research being able to provide that space is a particularly good. It's a, it's a, it's a great opportunity. Um, what yeah. happens after two, the two years of uh, residency? Uh, then you have you kind of wrap things up, um, and then you you know you just move on with your career. For me, it's been really beneficial because um, the residency. It's hard to explain because a lot of it isn't like I said. They're they're very hands off. It's not like they're guiding you and giving you a lot of information for how you should be. I mean, you can ask questions. You can approach them with any help that you would like. But there's something about it on an identity level as an artist that it's very validating. And there's, a lar there's eight or nine people in each group. So I think there's nine of us in my group. And we oh, okay. meet once a month and we talk. Eight or nine artists. Yeah, there's eight or nine. Uh, one of the artists are, uh, are, are collaborators. So there's two guys who are, okay. who are part of a group. So that makes the nine in our group. I think there's traditionally eight artists. So um, we meet and we talk, and there's something about that community of the nine people coming from really different points of view that is, it surprised me. I figured, okay, we'll get together once a month and we'll talk. But it's been really beneficial, and it's created this... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just created this small community amongst us mm -hmm. of kind of sharing what we're working on and um, giving each other feedback, giving each other um, support. Um, so, yeah, it's been a really great experience. And 
the second year, I'm still kind of, I'm, I'm kind of in the process of figuring out what the second year is going to be for me. The first year was really focused on making my show. Mm -hmm. And so the, it was really clear how the movement research residency supported that. It was really a good foundation for that. This year, I'm not working toward a specific date. We've had the performance here mm -hmm. and a couple of other performances this summer um, that are smaller. Uh, so it's more open-ended for me, which I'm actually kind of excited about how I can use the residency to just generate work out of the blue without a specific deadline. Thank you. Sure. Thank you.